a pearl, sandy shoes, and a pumped volleyball. A pumped volleyball, a pearl, and sandy shoes. A sandy shoes, a pumped volleyball, and a pearl. And I saved a guy's life. A pumped volleyball and sandy shoes is all it took for my day to be good in the summer. I had friends at the beach club. I played volleyball with people from all around the world and worked in the daycare with kids that made me smile like I never had before. A pumped volleyball and sandy shoes. As the sun set on a moonless sky, I eventually had to go home, sit with my thoughts a little while longer, and sleep until I could go back to the beach club. When are we going to the beach club? I asked my lovely mother and father, who usually accompanied me on the beach. Uh, let's wait until six o'clock, they said. This news obviously upset me because my beach volleyball games usually started around five. This would mean I would have to wait and sit with my thoughts a little while longer. Six. 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 Six came. I wore my Nike slides, wore my favorite jersey, and was ecstatic to play. I joined the guys on their second set of beach volleyball and played with all the energy I could. My view was six sweaty players and a cliff overseeing a rocky sea. Although there was no sign indicating that you could not go near this, all members of the beach club knew until an elderly man in a white Tastasha made this clearer. Although I was not near this man, I could tell his skin was not young, his posture was not good, and his cane had seen many roads before. But despite all these observations, he was walking unusually fast. He was going near the cliff. What is that man doing? I asked my teammate. Uh, he's just enjoying the view. Ignore him, he said, as he won the point. Distracted by winning, and also not facing reality, I watched the old man in the white Tastasha. As he was edging closer and closer towards the cliff, he kept saying these words, I want to swim. I want to swim. I want to swim. This is a clear indication of what was about to happen and how if I did not run to him, he would be dead. As he stepped on to an unbalanced rock and an even rockier surface, I cried terribly to my teammates, asking them to see what was right in front of their eyes. Eventually, they did, but after I saved them. My sandy shoes slowed me down. The pumped volleyball hit the ground as I ran towards him, making his white Tastasha a beige color. By now, my teammates and opponents came to us, finally facing reality. I held his hand and walked him back to safety, but he kept saying these words, I wanted to swim. I wanted to swim. I wanted to swim, and nothing more. My sandy shoes walked us both to the restaurant as I sat him down. I sat next to him as I did not want my emotions to conquer my mind just yet. The pumped volleyball remained untouched for the rest of the evening as we all gathered around him, listening to whatever he had to say. I felt as though my heartstrings were being played with and my stomach being stepped on, but I did not show this to him as he just kept showing us a picture of his daughter. How did he not know the danger he was in? What if I didn't go to the beach club that day? What if I just continued playing? Would he be swimming happily in the ocean or would he be sitting alone in the restaurant looking at pictures of his daughter, not surrounded by me. Eventually, he left the restaurant, and I was left alone too. Not physically alone, I was surrounded by my friends and people who adored my presence. Alone in the sense of my emotions, all my friends continued with their day as if this was a normal occurrence, but I just couldn't. One by one, each of my friends left, and I was, this time, really alone. I decided to go to, a, to swim and dive in the ocean, the same sea that could have been the death of an innocent man. A pearl, an oyster, seven feet below me. As I dove, trying to capture, trying to see what it was, I kept thinking what everyone else told me about pearls and oysters, how rare they were, how you could never find them these days. I caught it with the same hand that held the old man safety. I kept thinking, I thought this reward from God Maybe this was a reward for my goodness. I thought a lot of thoughts that day. Because of this, and because of this whole moment, I realized what my mission was in life. 
to help others. Whether it was a little task of helping someone with homework, making people smile or laugh through my acting, volunteering, or in some cases, saving a man's life. I knew that the reason why I am on this earth is because I want to help everyone else before myself. Despite this revelation, the pumped volleyball, the sandy shoes, and the pearl, I knew he was not the only lonely man in the world. Every single smile and frown line you have has a significant story to tell. A whole line of people wanting to jump and swim in the ocean too. Perhaps reach a shore and see a better tomorrow. With this, I leave you with one thing to think about. Instead of thinking about how you so badly want to swim in the ocean, think that the waves of the sea have met many bodies before. Thus, my life mission is to help anyone who feels as though the waves have hit them too harshly. What's yours?